We are with Representative Lillian Ortiz Self from the 21st District. Last week, you had three of your bills come out of committee, and I want to ask you about all three of them. The first one we've talked about a couple of times, the one for community and technical colleges. Yes. You know, our community and technical colleges have been hit hard. A lot of people need retraining right now. A lot of people are struggling to kind of find new career paths and how to continue their education and have left four-year universities to the community college level because of affordability. There's a lot of retraining programs, et cetera. And what that means is we need to open up these opportunities for all students. And so 1840 is really looking at how do we come up with a financial aid a one-stop shop where students can go and find out about all financial resources locally, state, federal, so that they can continue their education. It also addresses an area that I'm very passionate about and that is mental health. And our community and technical colleges are asking for help to advance their mental health services that they offer their students. And so this continues those efforts. You also have a bill specific about foster care and guardianship also came out of committee, and that is 1747. Yes, you know, I am very passionate about making sure that we keep families together as much as possible. And yes, I know there are situations where where children have to be removed from families. Those should be our extreme cases. We should do everything we can to wrap supports and resources around our families so that they can be successful in keeping their families together. And if they can't, Next of kin should be next in line. And so this is a guardianship bill that really puts more teeth into the department, making sure that they are focusing on finding guardians, finding family members, the next of kin that can take care of the children and making sure they have the resources necessary to be able to do that. We want those connections with family to stay strong. And then the third bill is an acronym because we love acronyms in virtual Olympia, don't we? The acronym is ACES. That's House Bill 1746, what what does that stand for? ACES is Adverse Childhood Experiences. There's been a lot of research done on scores, your ACES score, which pretty much means how much trauma have you experienced, how much trauma a child has experienced. And we know that that affects their education, it affects us as adults, et cetera. And so this bill is taking a look back at the last 10 years of everything that we've implemented in some of the areas, a lot of the changes that have taken place, like a pandemic, we've implemented social emotional learning, we've targeted some dollars into areas that we want to make sure are really addressing the trauma and the needs that are there. And so it's going to really look at those areas for us so that we can really continue to target interventions to the areas that need it the most. And we want to get a better and more complete picture. Congratulations on those three bills moving along. And then also you have an announcement tonight. You have an event happening. Is that right? Yes, tonight is our town hall meeting. Please join Senator Leas and my wonderful seatmate Strom Peterson and myself as we get to have wonderful conversations with all of you. So I hope you will join us. And people can join either on YouTube or on your Facebook page, correct? That's correct.